Okay, today is the 21st. And let's see, I've got my apples are here. And the squashes underneath are taking all over. But I haven't had any flowers until this one. This is my first flower. This is all supposed to be butternut squash. We've been harvesting some potatoes. You can probably see this is all open. Oops, I got caught. There we go. Again, this is butternut squash over here, and I have not had any flowers on that one. There's someone watching me. been harvesting potatoes. This ground has been quite rough. Looks like someone tried to help me harvest some beans and just left them there. Oh, that's not good anymore. They're all floppy. Children. Bush delicata. There's a couple in there. I've never, and then I'm still getting some, I think, blossom and rot. They were not cucumber beetles I had seen. They were a striped flea beetle. And I'm curious, do you see this one right here? What is that? I always thought it was a potato, but I'm not positive that it is a potato. There are still more potatoes to harvest. I'm wondering if these right here, I don't know if you can tell, they look like a pumpkin to me. I'm not sure if that's a butternut or a buttercup. Here's my buttercup squash. It does have some stripes, but this looks too round, too pumpkin-like for me to think that it's a butter, a buttercup. So, I don't know. But here is my pie pumpkin. Again, still getting some blossom end rot. The raspberries. I finally got a net for my blueberries. This one was like $9. There's a moth in there, and a fly. <laughs> but at least the birds are not eating them. I should be getting some tomatoes here soon. The ones down there are starting to turn, but they've got these cool like striations on them. I think there may be a yellow squash for me to harvest down there. getting too poked. There's another one down there too. Yeah. There's one. Perfect size. And then this one. And I've got some basil in here. Some of my onions are getting close, and then some are not looking very close. This kohlrabi looks like I could harvest that pretty soon. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a good size. And then the spinach, I just let go. I figure it might give me seed. The peas, I figured at this point what I've been doing is just letting them dry and saving the seeds. These are like a pink snow dwarf. They've not been very tasty. Um, I won't buy this variety again, um, but they're not very good. I'm saving the seed, which is why this zucchini is letting, is big. <laughs> the rest I am putting in here, letting it kind of crawl up. Normally I'd grow it vertically on one of these, but I just didn't get it out. I've got some more tomatoes over here. This one, I'm not doing my normal thinning. I'm just putting in a tomato cage, which is not what I normally do. Look at all these blueberries. Can't wait to eat some more. Those are so tasty. My corn. We had a rabbit in our garden the other day because someone left it open, but some of these have, you can see the silk 
on some of these. This is more just a treat for the kids. We don't eat a lot of grains in general, but um, you need enough for them to cross pollinate. But here's our little corn patch. The honeyberries are over in here. A little head over there. It would be better if you guys stayed out of there. I know, but it's well, it's fun. there's an eggplant. Remember what you did to the one you broke. This one, a couple of these have like purple. You see the purple? It makes me wonder if it's something else. Now this. yard. Some more cabbage. I have two in my fridge right now that I need to make sauerkraut out of. Actually, I made borscht last night, which uses some. This one has a nice pointy shape to it, which are the different ones. I know I've got my little markers down here somewhere. Too close now, and I can't find it. When I pull it out, I can see my sticks to compare. Here's our little sweet potato experiment. So, here's some sweet potatoes. They're probably not going to do anything, but like I'm using this bed anyway. So, the Malabar spinach, the red Malabar spinach, is not doing a whole lot. Um, this is my first year growing that as well. And then as far as for my cucumbers, and I'm sorry, I'm a little tired today. I saw a little one right here. Oh, oh my goodness, there's a huge one that I've missed. This one might be too big to pickle now. How did I missed this. There's my first cucumber. That is a huge cucumber. <laughs> it just goes to show, sometimes you never quite can see all of them until you come from a different angle than you normally come. Is there any more in here hiding? Oh, somebody is sad. Somebody is sad. Well, look at that. My first cucumber. We've got more onions over here. Some of them are looking pretty close and pretty nice. We have some bolting chard. Some more cucumbers over here. But none quite like this one. Wowzers. And over here, this squash. I think I could harvest that one too. I've noticed things in my yard seem to ripen a lot slower than in other people. I'm not sure why. And lots of beans. Mom? Yeah. That's yellow squash. Hey, what kind of helmet you got on, bud? Batman. Batman. Well, that's our little garden update for now. I have to go take care of a little sad face. A little sad face. And hopefully harvest some more potatoes without ruining them this time. But it's always hard to get anything done with a baby. So, hi. Thanks for watching.